Johanna's injuries when she was first shot, um, the entry wound was in her cheekbone, her maxilla, uh, kind of next to her nose on the right side. And obviously, everything that had gone through had been pretty beat up and trashed on the way through. But then where the real effect of the blast was, was on her jaw and her chin. So her, her we knew a, a big portion of her, her mandible or her jaw was missing. Another large portion of it was basically beat into many pieces, but uh, Dr. Trang managed to put those back together and salvage some of it to the point where we weren't sure whether or not it was going to live and work, but it certainly had, we had hope because you know saving as much of her own stuff uh, is always ideal. So I knew her jaw was going to be missing. Um, I knew her chin was going to be missing, and I had an idea that a lot of her lower lip was going to be missing as well. Um, it's the lip that really, um, to me, is a, a, it was a very important thing to know whether I was going to have something to work with or not, because that's the thing that I cannot make well. Nobody can make those. Her cheekbone, which was really destroyed in the, in the initial entry wound blast, was completely mobile. And normally, you'd go in there and you'd put plates on it just like you do with a facial fracture, kind of like what they did with a jaw. But in this case, they put wires on her teeth to stabilize what she had, and then they suspended her cheekbone, her maxilla, the part that holds the upper teeth, to the higher cheekbone, the zygomatic arch, with a wire. So then we had to start working on getting bone to rebuild the structure of the jaw that was missing. Most people will agree that the best place is from the fibula. Um, it doesn't bear any weight in your leg. Your tibia, your shin bone, basically holds all of it. And as long as you keep enough to keep the joints in the knee and the ankle stable, you can take all that bone out without causing any problems in terms of walking later on. We take the bone, we cut it, so it's, it's wedged on one side. We decide how big of wedges to make and how much of a curve to decide exactly how much of the fibula to take in each little segment. So I'll take three little cuts and they fit together kind of like pieces in the puzzle. So at this point it becomes a long process. Uh, my goal, although it's um, a very optimistic goal, is to get her so she can stand in line at a grocery store and not have anybody stare at her. That's my goal on everybody I rebuild. It's basically an evolving process, and I'll just keep working on it. And I tell my patients I'm done with them when they're done with me.